Good morning, everyone. My name is Hafiz Rahman, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Arabic at Vovanipur Anchali College. So today, I am going to take a class on the growth and development of Arabic language and literature in India with a special reference to the development of Arabic language and literature in India in different Islamic periods. So, before taking the class, I would like to talk briefly about the objectives and the target audience of this presentation. So, the objectives of this presentation is to provide knowledge about the development of Arabic language and literature in India and also to give the students some valuable information about the different Islamic period in India in which Arabic language and literature had been grown and nurtured. The target audience for this presentation are the PG students, particularly those pursuing BA in Arabic under Gohati University. The presentation is prepared based on the syllabus of BA sixth semester of Arabic for regular course that prescribed by Gohati University. With this basic information, now I am going to talk about the growth and development of Arabic language and literature in India. So let me start by explaining how Arabic language and literature was grown and developed in India. As we know that the Arab traders paid a visit to India and they had settled in various coastal sites of India in a very ancient period. Day by day, their number became increased in India with the advent of Islam in Indian subcontinent Indoor of links became strengthened in a specific mode. Through these traders, whether they are belong to the Muslim community or non-Muslim community, Arabic language entered into the different coastal parts of India. Thus, Arabic language and Islamic culture began to penetrate into various coastal sites of India. With the efforts of those Arab traders who settled there and established an independent Islamic state in the western regions of India, and these areas were lasted for more than two centuries under the Arabic period. In that era, a large number of Arab scholars uh, came to India and then they made a commendable effort to, de to develop Arab Islamic culture. On the same way, history has also witnessed for us that a number of Indians, irrespective of caste, caste, color, and religion, went to Arab Islamic State during Ummet, Abbasid, and its later periods, and then they settled there. Some of the Indians, who had gone from India to Arab Islamic State helped Arab scholars in translating from some Sanskrit books into Arabic. After discussing briefly about the growth and development of Arabic language and literature in India, now I would like to talk briefly how Arabic language and literature had been grown and flourished in India in different Islamic dynasties. In this regard, I have to say that nobody can deny that the, Arab, that the Arabic language and literature had been grown and developed step by step in different period of times in various parts of Indian subcontinent, particularly under the different Islamic dynasties that founded by different kings and sultans across the country. Amongst them, the most notable dynasties are as the Arab government in India, the 
Ghaznavi dynasty, the Gauri dynasty, the Mamluk or Slave dynasty, the Khalji dynasty, the Tughlaq dynasty, the Lodi dynasty, the state of Bengal and the kingdom of Gujarat and the last one is the Mughal dynasty. Due to shortage of time, time space, here I would like to talk briefly about only the Mughal dynasty. So let me discuss briefly the Mughal dynasty in which Arabic had, had been developed and nurtured. As we know, the Mughal Empire is one of the most powerful Indian governments. It was founded by Zohiruddin Muhammad Babar in 1526 AD and continued until the outbreak of the Great Indian Revolution of 1857 CE. This was a very important and memorable period which played a very vital role in spreading Islamic culture in addition to the development of Arabic language and literature across the country. In this period, India produced a large number of Islamic thinkers, educationists, and scholars who contributed a lot in all aspects of Arab Islamic sciences. Among the most excellent scholars who gained worldwide fame in this vast empire, they were as Abu Faiz Faizi, Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddith at Tehlabi. Abdul Hakim of Seal Court, Shah Waliullah Dehlabi, Gulam Ali Azad Al Bilgrami, Mullah Muhibbullah Bihari, Mujadbid II, Ahmad Al Faruqi, Asar Hindi, Muhammad John Furi, Abdul Baqi, Sheikh Nizamuddin, who supervised the preparation of famous fatwa titled Al Fatwa Al Alam Giriga. Abdul Jalil Bilgrami, Sayyid Dildar Ali, Shah Abdul Aziz, Abdul Ali, Fadal Haq Al Khairabadi, Tura Bali, Thanaullah Panipoti, Abdul Hai Faranki Mehli, Amir Siddiq Hassan Khan, and so many others who had a great role in the development of Arabic language and literature in India. Now I am, I would like to conclude my presentation. In conclusion, since the establishment of the Arab Islamic State in 92 AH, corresponding to 711 AD, in a, all of our Sindh and Punjab regions. Now both are in Pakistan. The situation of Arabic language has been improving day by day. Gradually, it has become a language that understood in many cities and is spoken by the large public in that region. Apart from they are well educated, in the subsequent centuries, India gave birth to a large number of skilled persons of Arabic language who wrote books in Arabic language that had no trace of foreign writings whose scientific and literary works are appreciated by the great Islamic educationists and Arab writers. Besides this, their novel works are considered to be the most important sources for the history of Arab Islamic culture. Arabic language is spread in Mansura, Multan and other towns of Sindh for joining this towns into the Arab government in India and the cooperation of these of those Arabian people who settled there and a large number of those residents of Sin regions who embraced Islam. Here is a list of books and articles that I have used to prepare this presentation. I hope that I have been able to make you understand the topic, the growth and development of Arabic language and literature in India with a special reference to the development of Arabic language and literature in India in different Islamic period. Thank you for your kind cooperation and uh, for your kind patience. 
थैंक यू सो मच